Hi, welcome. I am Robert Black. I'm culinary director for a Good Egg Dining Group, and I have been challenged to Sloppy Joe's. This is Chef's Recipe Challenge presented by Culinary Kitchen. Chef's Recipe Challenge is exactly that. One classic recipe, one local chef, with one challenge. Turn that family favorite into a restaurant quality dish. We're here at Culinary Kitchen in Oklahoma City with owner Claude Rappaport. If you're looking to raise the bar on your kitchen experience, Claude and his daughter Lori can help you make that happen. All right, Robert, Sloppy Joe's. Slop, Sloppy Joe's. Yes. Excited about this, but first up, really exciting news. We got Tucker's number two coming up. Tell me about it. Man, Tucker's number two, Tucker's number one was so much fun, we decided we needed to try it again. <laughs> so yeah, Tucker's number two is gonna be coming up in Class and Curve, okay. uh, which is gonna be fun, because it's right next mm -hmm. to our sister restaurant, Republic Gastro yes. Pub. Yes. Great area, that little whole shopping center is just booming. Yeah. and. You know, with the advent of Whole Foods and, Absolutely. and uh, just that whole area is just doing so good. It's foodtastic. <laughs> you got it. I coined that. Anybody wanting to use that, back off. But, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Tucker, when's it coming? Uh, we look right now. We're looking at late summer. We're just getting ready to break ground, okay. so all the front end work's done. Okay. We got the kitchen designed, we got the interior designed, and uh, plans are in. So. Now it's just a matter of getting done. I, okay. Don't quote me in this, I'm gonna say about three months. Three months, okay. Any changes or are you gonna stick with the same great recipe? Same, same menu, mm -hmm. same core items, burgers, fries, and shakes, yep. top quality. Awesome, look forward to it. Now, Sloppy Joe's. Let's Sloppy Joe's, it. let's do it. <laughs> so today what we're gonna be doing is we've got an awesome egg bun made by Prairie Thunder Baking Company. That's really important, a good bun for a Sloppy Joe. Uh, and, and he makes these fresh every single day, which, and they almost need to be because there's there's no preservatives in them, so they're, they're good for about two days and that's it. But man, that first day, they're just killer. Here, smell that bread. We're gonna be mixing the rest of it up a little bit, so uh, what we're going to be doing is braising short ribs, but we're not going to be pulling or shredding it or, or grinding that and putting it into the sauce. The meat's going to stand on its own. Got some beautiful boneless short ribs right here, just really, really nicely marbled. And we are going to season that with equal parts brown sugar and kosher salt. Celery, onions, and carrots is kind of the foundation. Foundation vegetables, it's two parts onion to one part carrot to one part celery. So. Got two parts of uh, two cups of mirepoix in there. I've got uh, a cup of veal demi glace, a cup of uh, red wine, a cup of light chicken broth. All right, we're going to put this in uncovered to get a little bit of a char on that. 375 degrees. Now, once the meat chars up. We're going we're gonna to want to turn the oven down to 325 degrees, cover it with foil, and then finish cooking it for about four hours or until the beef is really tender. But here's the trick. We don't, want to, uh, we don't want to serve this hot, so we want to do this a day ahead of time or at least four to six hours so we can cool the meat down after it's done. So this is really a two-day project, but it's worth it. So we're going to pair that with a great spicy, smoky molasses. Uh, Sloppy Joe sauce is going to be poured over the top. Smell that garlic cooking? Yeah, a little bit. And here, here's the kicker, two tablespoons of golden molasses. All right, we're gonna add a couple pinches of salt and pepper. Oh man, that smells good. So my sauce is simmered. I know you guys probably didn't catch that, but almost all the liquid is evaporated. You guys can see just from looking in here, it's still, Kind of looks like a salsa now. So that's how we make our sauce. It's nice and firm again because all the fat in the short ribs is congealed and it's it, it feels firm. And that's what we want because we want to be able to slice this really thin. Once we've got our beef sliced, got our sauce already done here. What I did was I took the sauce on the stove, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Blended it up nice and smooth, and we're just going to kind of ladle this right over the top. All right, I'm going to throw this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we're going to be doing some Bach battered pickle chips. I got one Bach beer, about 12 ounces. 
All right, then I've got 16 ounces of flour, and I'm gonna slowly whisk this into my liquid till I get the texture and the consistency that I want. Don't really want lumps in this. This would work good too for fish and chips. Now I'm gonna fry these in peanut oil. And finish that with a little bit of lemon jicama slaw for a great sloppy joe. So this is gonna give us our balance because we're gonna have our savory bun, crispy uh, pickle chips, our rich short ribs, and then our smoky spicy sauce. And then we've got this really cool and refreshing slaw to kind of bring everything all together. So four slices, I think this is gonna be about maybe four ounces. Quarter pound of braised short rib. Two or three crispy pickle chips. Some shredded fontina cheese. Now that is a sloppy joe.